Why seven shot tennis? Seven shot tennis is a language about shots and a point. It answers three questions about all shots. Where'd the shot go after it was hit? Where was it hit from? And what was the stroke that hit that shot? You have three shots up the middle, two shots on the diagonal, one down the line, and the dropper. One, two, three up the middle, that's what we call the center corridor. Ones are short, twos are mediocre shots, and threes are good deep shots that land closer to the baseline. This is where good players hit the ball more often. Fours are diagonal shots, they either cross court or inside out. And fours land in what we call the singles alley. Singles alley is the same width as a doubles alley. Fours land closer to the baseline than the service line, while fives, which are also diagonal shots, are hit closer to the service line. Sixes are down the line shots that hit inside the singles alley. Uh, if you're going to have to hit a drop shot, the idea behind hitting a drop shot is you want to hit it closer to the net than to the service line, so that's the seven. If you miss a shot, <clears throat> then it's either long of the three, long of the six, long of the four, or wide of the four, the five, or the seven, or you hit it in the net. As for where shots are hit from, if you start from the net and go on back to the fence and imagine the singles alleys on either side, when you're hitting from there, you're hitting from the side of the court. Beyond that, you're wide of the court. Anywhere else, you're in the center corridor area again, and we use these terms to describe tactical situations as well as locations. If you're closer to the fence than the baseline, you're in the deep area. Move back inside so you're closer to the baseline and the fence. This is a neutral area. Moving beyond the baseline, we're moving into the offensive sounding tactics. One racket link inside the baseline is the maneuvering area. This is a good place where players learn to hit not just to the one, two, three, but they start hitting to the fours, the fives, and the sixes. Beyond that is the attacking area. Attacking area is the area from which a player wants to go to the net, and to get to the concluding area, you got to get one racket length inside the service line. Keep in mind that with all of these areas, you could be on defense. So when you add a stroke to where the shot was hit to and where the shot was hit from, you get a picture of that shot. For example, if a player is hitting a forehand from the maneuvering area to the four, that's a completely different picture than if a player is in the concluding area and hits to the same location. For serve, the T, the body, the corner, and the wide are all one racket length and width. If you miss those, you've hit the bucket. A lot of second serves go into the bucket. Faults or wide or long of the nearest target, so it would be wide or long of the T, long of the body, wide or long of the corner, and wide of the wide serve, and also into the net. Targets in the ad court are the same as the targets in the deuce court, even though some of these serves feel different when you try to hit them to those targets. Can you see your shots? Can you see your serves? If you're right-handed, can you hit the wide serve on the ad side? Same question for the left-hander on the deuce side. Can you see your returns and all the other shots and where they're landing in the seven zones? Do you know where you are when you hit your shots? Are you deep, neutral, maneuvering, attacking, or concluding? Do you know when you're on the side of the court so that you'll know when you're neutral on the side or maneuvering on the side or attacking from the side? A stroke plus a target plus a tactical position equals a shot. What's your best shot? Where'd you hit it to? Where did you hit it from? What was the stroke? You can answer all those questions, you understand seven-shot tennis.